Hi and welcome to Victory Range Hoods. Today I want to talk to you about duck sizes and the proper duck size to use with your hood. Now when you purchase a really high quality hood, if you're having issues with how the hood is performing or if it's too noisy, usually the reason is due to a ducting problem or some sort of installation issue. If a smaller than recommended duct is used for your hood, that will significantly reduce the suction and it will increase the noise. For example, most hoods will require a six inch round duct. If you reduce that to a four inch round duct, the suction will be reduced significantly and the noise levels will go up quite a bit. One big mistake that can be made is to reduce the size of the duct just because an existing duct is already in the wall. For example, this might happen if uh, a renovation is happening and let's say the owner already has uh, a duct in the wall which is let's say six inches round and the hood that they're, they've purchased requires an eight inch round duct. In order to get the full suction of that, you will need to change the duct in the wall and make it into an eight inch duct. So then you don't have to use one of these. Now this is an eight inch on one side and a six inch on this side. And this will reduce the size, so it will fit. However, it will also reduce the suction. Now this here from eight inch to six inches will actually reduce the suction by about 50%. So if that in the wall there that's already installed is not changed and the reduction is used, that could be the issue. So if you're looking to get the most out of your hood, we would recommend not using one of these. Today in the kitchen ventilation industry, the duct sizes that are commonly used are six inches and eight inches, sometimes 10 inches as well, depending on the size of the hood. For about a 30 inch or a 36 inch hood, a six inch duct is usually okay. If you're using a bigger hood, like 42 inch, you want to have a duct size of about eight inches, 10 inches if you're doing really heavy cooking, and if you have a hood that is a barbecue hood, you will want to use a 10 inch duct as well. In order to vent a hood properly that has a six inch duct, you need a constant duct size of about 27 square inches. And what I'm talking about here, if you take this wall cap, for example, now it has a flap on the inside here, and you've got the ducting from the hood and then um, the, the air coming out from this way. And then there is a sometimes a guard of some sorts to prevent any rodents from going in there. And what happens here with a lot of models is that you will have the six inch duct here, which is about 27 square inches, and then the size on the other side will be smaller. And if it is smaller, that will reduce the suction. Now this particular one that I'm showing you is about the same size, which is perfect because you have, let's say, one amount of air coming in this way and the same amount of air coming out this way. It's not reduced at all, it's exactly the same and that will keep a constant airflow and there's no reduction whatsoever. And also you wanna make sure it's curved down. You don't want any flat angles because then the, when the air is hitting, it will stop it. When setting up ducting at the end of the line, you will have one of these wall caps or a roof cap like one of these behind me here. If you were to use one of these over here, now we've got a six inch duct. This one's from Home Depot actually. One of the most common ones and I see a lot of people purchasing these. Now here, six inch duct. On the other side, it's quite a bit smaller. This here is not 27 square inches, it's more like 20. So this actually reduces the suction maybe about 25, 30%. One thing to remember is that you want to use a duct that is galvanized like this one here. Now this is very hard and straight. It won't create any turbulence or extra noise. If you were to use a duct that is aluminum like this one and very flexible, that can create a lot of noise, a lot of turbulence, and it will actually also accumulate some of the grease on the inside. Another thing to note is if you are ducting through the house and you have to put in some 90 degree elbows, such as let's say this one here, this is um, adjustable, so it can be adjusted to fit as you need it to, and um, also make sure that it is a gradual turn. You never want it to be 
very squared off. You want it to be gradual so the air could travel through it easily. Another thing about these is you want to make sure you're not using too many. One should be okay, but each one of these reduces the suction by about 10 to 15 percent. The same is all true for a roof cap. If you need to put a roof cap on something, make sure that the size is the same as the duct that you're using. The bigger the duct, the more efficient your hood will be and the quieter it will be. If you're using a roof cap, like this one here for example, you want to make sure again that the size here, let's say six inches, and the size here should be the same. So both the entrance and the exit should have the same size. Another thing to note, again for the roof cap, is that it gradually goes out. It's not a sharp angle, it's smooth. Please keep in mind that if you have a very powerful hood and a big duct size, you will be pushing a lot of air to the outside. Now if the building is very tight, you might have a backdraft issue. I will talk about this in another video. Now we're going to talk a little bit about ducting and some different options. When you reduce the duct size or choose a wall cap or a roof cap with a smaller opening, two negative things can occur. The noise will go up and the suction will go down. Let me give you some examples. What you see here is one of our top selling range hoods, the UC800. If you reduce the size of the duct of this hood, which requires a 6 inch duct with a smaller 4 inch duct and install one of the not recommended roof caps, even on the first speed, the air fills up the duct completely and causes the noise to go up. Switching from speed 1 to 2 or 3 will make the hood noisier, but the suction will not improve because the air doesn't have anywhere to go. You might also experience the same high noise levels on all three or four levels of your hood and poor hood performance based on a number of reasons. The ductwork might be too small or completely blocked. The ductwork might be too long, typically longer than 50 feet. The ductwork might have too many elbows. The roof cap or the wall cap is not a good one. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.